<laughs> so yes, I am trans, and you do see things differently when you're transgender, right? Like when most people look in the back of one of those alternative newspapers, you know, and they see that ad that says Asian tranny hookers, right? They look at that, they're like, whoa, that is so weird. I look at that and think, why are we sending these jobs overseas? <laughs> dating online is tough. I had this guy, uh, guy lied to me. He tried to be all cute. He's just like, oh, I'm so new at dating. I'm so new at it. Turns out he was married. So I, so I you know, told him to go, you know, F himself. And he's like, that's not very ladylike. I said, sorry, I'm new at it. <laughs> I like going to bars to meet guys. And I know they say you shouldn't do that, right? Because everybody's drinking and impairs your judgment. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> well, that's where I step in. <laughs> I'm like, drink up, fellas. <laughs> and tomorrow a hangover won't be the worst thing you wake up to. <laughs> There's such a double standard, though, you know, between when, like, guys get drunk and when women get drunk, right? You know, like, if a guy passes out drunk at a bar, he has a problem. But if I pass out drunk at a bar, I'm the worst bartender ever. <laughs> now, my dad was a huge drinker. He hated this. Like, I remember when I was little, I said, Dad, what do you call a little boy who wants to be a little girl? He said, I don't know, but they de they're definitely not getting any ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, we used to argue all the time. Like, the arguments got so bad at one point, we actually had to split the house in half. Uh, he got the inside. <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, but don't worry, he dies in the end. So. <laughs> yeah, my dad died around Christmas time, which was tough. I didn't know what to ask for because I already got what I wanted. <laughs> So I'm in therapy. <laughs> it's going pretty well too, except I had a therapist fall asleep during one of my sessions. Yeah, like passed out cold. I thought he was dead and then he woke up. He's like, oh my God, I forgot to tell you, I'm a narcoleptic. I'm like, that's all right. I forgot to tell you, I'm a necrophiliac. <laughs> which might explain some discomfort you've been feeling. <laughs> I was actually putting a good version therapy growing up. You guys know what that is, right? Yeah, it's one of those, it's where they try and convince gay and trans kids, you know, that they're, you know, try and make them straight, you know? Uh, it kind of worked. Like, I'm still trans, but I was able to convince my therapist that he's gay. 